Hello friends, my name is Sumit and I welcome all of you to Jaithan video series presented by BISPtrainings.com. In my past videos, I told you the various uses of Jaithan. In this video, I will be going to tell you how to add a text to an existing PDF file by using Jaithan. So let me tell you the requirement. My requirement is I have got one sample PDF file shared by one of my client and that client needed to add one content a few of text or a few lines to be added in this PDF file. So usually as you know that by going into PDF and if I want to add something into this PDF file it's not possible to add it here. But if you want to add a content to this PDF file or if you want to append a text to this PDF file that is possible by using Jaithan. So let's see how is it possible or how can we add a content or a text to existing PDF file. So for this I'm going to take help of Jaithan or sorry Python shell. And in this Python shell, I'm going to open a new script editor. And here, let's write the code to add the content or add a line or add a text to this existing PDF file. So in order to do so, we need one library which need to be installed or which need to be downloaded and copied at a specific location. And that, that library is Aspos. So I write a library I'll import sys and then I set sys dot path dot append and the library which I was talking about that I've already installed on my C drive and the library name is this is the executable zar file this will help us to do the various operations on a PDF file. We can read the content from PDF file. We can convert the PDF file into document or in an Excel file, which we will be going to see in our next video. And if you want to append a text to the existing PDF file, it means the various operations can be performed on PDF file by using this as pdf zar file. So let's continue same. So I'll just write it C drive or I can copy the location as pos c drive as pos slash lib slash as pos dot pdf dot czar so i copy this as pos dot pdf dot czar then i load the libraries from as pos dot pdf imp import star from com dot as post dot pdf import document so there are various other libraries which are needed so around five six to seven libraries are required so i'm just copying pasting and i'm going to change the library names so document first is document another one is excel save options third one is text fragmentation text fragment next one is position next one is there is a font repository next is text builder then I'm going to create a new class name as add text and in this class I create a function def that's the init function uh, give us a little bit space underscore init underscore underscore self first I set data directory it's on my D drive document is equal to document data dir and the file which I want to open is simple sample PDF sample pdf dot pdf 
so let's have a look the file name is sample pdf dot pdf i create one new instance to get the page doc dot pages dot get underscore item one so i'm going to add the content i'm going to add the text on the first page then set the text underscore fragment is equal to text fragment main text text underscore fragment dot set position so i set the position position 100 comma 600 then i create font repository font font repository is equal to font repository then we are going to set the font so text underscore fragment dot get text state dot set font font underscore repository dot find font and from that repository i font i look for the font as vardana then i set the font size so it should be set get text state so i copy this set font i copied this much because i'm going to use the same the same text state dot set font size text builder pdf underscore page so it will update all the things on the first page and text underscore builder dot append text text underscore fragment document dot save and i saved it as in the same directory with a different as a different file so plus text underscore added dot pdf and print text added successfully and finally is equal equal main so i call that function so i just check this that if name equal equal main if it's calling a main function then it will call the text that's all let's test this so first of all i'm going to save it and i'm going to save this in my jython directory c drive jython 2.1 and append pdf1 save it to run it first let me close let's open this one remain it open and i'll open command prompt change the directory to cd jython 2.2.1 and then i execute that file and the file name is let's look at the file name file name is append pdf1.py so to run it i use jython command jython append pdf1.py and enter so you can see the file has been executed successfully the text must be appended and i got a final message text added successfully it means all the code has been run the code has been executed successfully let's go and test it so i checked on my d drive named as text added file and if i open it you can see 
the file has been added evolution only the font has been set the the settings which we have done here the main text font text and the font family the font size is 14 and the file name is text underscore added dot pdf so the file has been added successfully only on page one only on page one so if you have multiple pages this will add the text only on the first page and basically the text you can see here that's the that's the text main text that was the content that was the message displayed by the spos dot pdf that is uh, uh, it says that the changes has been done by spos pdf and you can look here the main text is coming here it says the text which we have added main text if you want to customize it instead of main text i can say uh, welcome or let's say pdf file transformed by bisp and we can change the position instead of 100 i'll just change it to 10 and 600 10 something or let's say instead of 10 i'll set this to yeah 10 to 600 and save it and run the code again so i'll just run the program again and append pdf1.py so we are getting error message now because let me close it so it says the file not found text added because it was open so we need to close it okay because it was already used so that's why it was throwing an error message so i just run it again so the text added successfully means that the file has been transformed let's open it again on my d drive i open text added and you can see i got a message pdf file transformed by bsp so that's how we can append a text to an existing pdf file now the location can be customized location can be specified as required as desired so that's all in this video. If you have any queries, you can write to us on www.bsptrainings.com. You can subscribe our YouTube channel if you want to know more videos on Jython from us. You can connect with us for a customized training on Jython. Till then, have a nice day. Keep watching. Goodbye.